Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we are checking out something really kind of unique. This is called GB Studio and the GB stands for Game Boy. This is basically a drag and drop Game Boy ROM generator, but you can also use it to create, you know, web-based games and so on. And we're just going to jump in and take a look at it. One of the things I'm going to say is it's remarkably polished. It's available on all major desktop platforms, uh, and you can see it here in action right now. I checked this guy out a few years back, uh, GB Studio... 3.03 was recently released. We'll look at some of the new details in just a second. But first, let's go hands-on with GB Studio. So if you ever wanted to create Game Boy games or Game Boy style games, this one is perfect for you. Here we are in the scene or game world view, and you're going to see everything is made up of a series of scenes. So you see here we've got this guy right here. You can see how they're connected. So this one is connected to this one via that dotted line, and then this one is going to come up and bring you a menu. So you got either option. It can bring you back to here, or it can bring you on to this part of the game, which is the main game itself. Now, all of this stuff, you can actually zoom in. It's got full level editing environment. Uh, but the coolest thing here is you've got all of the various different tools you need as well. So here you can see kind of a traditional top-down style world. And then here you can see like an NPC in that world. You can add events and scripts to things. Uh, the scripting system is very simple. So here we see enemy ship hitting the player. You can see a number of different uh, event actions can be added in here. You have a ton of different events from like just a variety of different things here. Uh, you can change between your various different scenes and so on. You've got controls here for handling dialogues. Pretty much everything you need to create a simple uh, adventure style game. Speaking of the types of games you can create, here let's go check out this one that we've got. This is one of the uh, sample projects you can get uh, with it. By the way, you've got complete control over what your controls are. By default, you use the uh, arrow keys, and I think it's X, Z, X, and C as your controls. So here, Z will create a new game, or Z if you say it wrong. So here we got a traditional side-scrolling type game. You're going to notice there is music going on as well. There's full tools for handling music. Uh, we do have jumping controls in here as well. When we move from that scene, we go into this style, and then I'm going to walk into this building. And you can see you can use it for point-and-click style adventures as well. So we're using the controls um, to actually uh, navigate around the scene. And then we go here to go back. And then we'll continue walking on just a little ways. And uh, you got dialogues like you can see here. So you can do... Um, Mario or Zelda style side scrollers. Uh, oops. All right, let me just get out of this one. I'm going to show you the one other game style shown in this. Okay, I'm very bad at this. Uh, I got to focus, concentrate, and not fall in. Okay, <laughs> I really want to show you the last part. Uh, but like I said, I'm very bad at keyboard controlled platforming games. All right, so here we go. Jump. Let's get on that little box. Jump over. All right. There we go. Yeah, we'll save. All right. So you do have uh, uh, game saves as well available. And then we'll just leave this. So I'm going to show you the final style of the uh, map that's available, which is your traditional, you know, Dragon Warrior top-down style. You bump into people uh, to do dialogues. Oh, actually, this one, I have to hit the key. And then over here, you're going to see when I walk on this person's flowers, it triggers an event, and that person comes out and yells at me. So that's the kind of game uh, that you can create using GB Studio. All of the tools are here. Everything we just looked at is here. So all the various different levels we just looked at are available here. Here you can see, for example, that lady that came out and yelled at us. This area is marked as a uh, walk zone or a trigger zone, and that trigger fires off this event. So she comes out and yells at me, for example, by calling the display function down here. So your scripting process is very straightforward. The cool thing is there's also a number of other tools in here. So you see here, right now we're looking at Game World. There is a full sprite editor in here. So let's go look at that element, for example. Uh, has multiple frames. You can see in action down there, you have a sprite editor up here. You can uh, preview with parallax over here. By the way, there is full parallax support. Uh, you can actually see the animation in effect there as it's flipping between the frames. Uh, so you have the sprite tool built in here. You have a tool for uh, backgrounds like so uh, in the world. Uh, you got a tool here for creating music. So if you want, you basically just draw your music like that and then you can play it accordingly. So all of the tools you need to run this are in here. I got tools for handling, uh, continue without saving, uh, fixed color palette uh, palettes in here. You've got uh, build and run settings. So you can export out as an actual Game Boy ROM. You can export out to the web. There's also the ability to, you can run it directly like we saw in action. Uh, you can also build it for a special device. We'll see that. That's one of the new features from the 3.1 release. And then there are a number of settings here. So you can actually turn on color mode so you can create Game Boy Color games as well. Uh, you can also enable Super Game Boy mode. You've got control over how your UI is going to look. Uh, you got 
settings over uh, the, your default controls and so on. So there is uh, a ton of functionality in this guy. You can create two different style of, con of uh, cartridges and so on. It's a really uh, robust system for creating Game Boy style games. It's a very cool project on the whole. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out, you can find it at gbstudio.dev. Again, it is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Hey, and this time I remembered to say that early on as well. Uh, full documentation available as well, which is actually quite nice. So all of the things that you want to do with this, so if you want to get in here to handling triggers or scripting events, uh, it is all in here. Everything you need to set all the stuff up, all you need to do to create your levels and so on, is all available here as well. If you want to go ahead and download it, it is hosted up on uh, GitHub. Uh, so not GitHub. Um, uh, itch.io. Uh, so uh, 3.0 was recently released. The 3.0 release added uh, export support for an analog pocket. So if you want to run it on that particular device, you can export directly to it. Uh, parallax scrolling backgrounds were added, uh, sprite animation editor, larger sprites, music editor, multiple fonts, uh, custom emotes, and the GBVM scripting language. More on that later. Uh, so that is what is in the 3.0 release. It is available for all of the various different platforms we just talked about earlier. Uh, since that release earlier, uh, about well, the very beginning or the very end of last year, uh, there have been uh, three subsequent like, point X releases since. Um, I checked this one out. I think it was GB Studio one point something. So it has come a long way and added a bunch more features and functionality since. I highly recommend checking this guy out. It's a very... Um, very user-friendly tool. You got everything is in this environment. Again, you got the pins showing you how your executions work between each other. Uh, you now have support, again, for parallax backgrounds. You've got uh, menu options. So if we come over here, take a look at this one, for example. You're going to see a ton of different menus available here and how they branch between different areas. Uh, it, it is really simple to work with. So if you're into that whole retro gaming thing, but you don't feel like breaking out your assembly or C skills, GB, uh, GB Studio is definitely one of those things to check out. And again, it is completely free. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is a very cool program, uh, very easy to play around. It's the kind of thing you can learn in an afternoon and make some really kind of cool stuff. It's beginner friendly, so this is the kind of thing, um, you know, like a lot of people work on these like virtual console type environments. Well, this is um, the same thing, but instead of being a virtual console or limited hardware, like you might see uh, with something like, uh, oh, none of them are coming to me right now, but. Oh, I've covered a ton of them on the station in the past too. Uh, but if, if you're um, looking for, you know, constrained the way it used to be easier back in the day, but an easy approach to it, um, GB Studio is a very cool project. And the 3.0 release added a ton of features and functionality. So let me know what you think of this. Have you used it? Are you going to use it? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.